This is before and after drinking water from eunuch. Right. So, at the right picture again, you see the energetic field before and what happened after you drank water. But how from come? From something. Munich water, everybody tells you, is very pure. Yes, on a chemical way, it is very pure. On an energetic way, it's a disaster. So, it destroys nearly your energetic fields. This is very important because I want to show you something different in the next slide. So you see what happened. On a chemical way, everything is perfect. On an energetic way, a disaster. And that's after drink, before and after drinking Zamzam water. Yes. You see, right picture before and left picture after, after. Zamzam water. It's the exact opposite. If, exact. You see what happens, Munich water, Zamzam water. I have to tell you the story of this picture. My colleagues, uh, Hosea Bosman and me, we've been in Jeddah two years ago, three years ago, and he went to Mecca and brought several liters of some Dambosa water with us. So it came into my clinic, and we stored it there for about two weeks or a bit longer. Then we started to do these pictures. So. We've, we've been all, we, we've pictured about 60 persons, and we've, they all acted like that. And we've been very astonished that after 14 or more days, after transportation from Mecca to Munich, uh, climate difference and so on, this water did something great to your energetic fields. See, it's an answer. Your cell systems do answer. They say, yeah, I like this. Oh, no, please don't. This is the first thing. And the second thing, we invented a therapy uh, to all this knowledge. You must see it's 12 years old. I'm, I'm dealing with this and working about, working about this for 12 years, nearly every day. The, the therapy we invented is called energetic field therapy, of course. There's one picture as well. It's, an very, it's an electromagnetic field with very low intensity. It just should give you an information. We it's believe just... that, that, uh, that Zamzam water has healing powers. I and mean, our religion tells us that uh, Zamzam lima shurima uh, So whatever we drink it for, it will happen. So see, what do we see? We, so, we see an answer. We, in these pictures, we always see an answer of something that happens to you. That means if your cell systems and the energy comes from your cell systems, answer like this on the left picture. It's like a kiss to them. They smile and say, yes, that's great. Munich water, they say, oh, no, please, don't. Enough. <laughs> yeah. I present my energetic field and you present your energetic field. They mix each other now. This is the way how you think that somebody is um, somebody you like from the first glance or not. Because there's information in it. I give all my information from my insight and you do it as well. So we inform ourselves on an energetic way. Mm. What about, what is it did you feel when, when you studied the Zamzam water? Was it, did it come as a huge surprise for you? I mean, Completely. I mean, it's for us, Com it's belief, it's part of our yeah. belief, but for, for you, for me how new. was it? It was just a chance to get, to, to study this water. I know, of course, the importance of Zamzam water, but I think I'm the first to try to study what does it do? It betters your energetic field, and that, that means it makes you healthier. I think if you can drink it every day. In this show, we had, we had uh, um, um, a segment on, on Zamzam water before where a Japanese uh, uh, I know, professor... the, the one who, who talks love into the water and so exactly. on. Exactly. I forgot his name. I was surprised when I saw the, um, how, how seriously it, it affects... Uh, the love and hate, whatever mm -hmm. you say, mm -hmm. affects the water as well. But the, if, the effect of Zamzam water, it's 1,000 times heavier than, uh, um, than normal water, and nothing is negative about it. Right. Nothing. See, see the Munich water. It's a disaster to your cell system. Even so, it's chemical pure. There's no bacterials in it, nothing. But on an energetic level, it's a disaster. How do you think uh, a revelation like this can be used to, the best, to better the, everybody's lives? Zamzam. -zam. How, how can it change us? So if you have the chance to drink it every day, it betters your healthy. 
else. I think nobody, not everybody, not every Arabic people in the whole world can drink Samsung water every day. So maybe for this is a possibility, a therapy, similar to the one we in invented, the energetic fuel therapy. It's a kind of Samsung water on an energetic way. It's not something to drink, it's something to lay on, but it betters your energetic fields. I think we start with a complete new medicine. I think in the future, we will deal with our energy and not only with our chemical way of life. It's 96 years old that we know that everything is energy. You must be intrigued to study more about Zamzam water. What is it if it's in a perfect scenario you want to do with Zamzam water? We just opened it a little bit, the secret of your holy water. We, guess, we just could show something, but of course it would be great to study more of this, to get the chance to study it where it came from. From the source. From the source. We, we took it to Munich, transportation, and it still had a lot of energy. So how much energy will it have? Do you think it, it would have? be more from the source? I think so. I think really? so. Of course. It, it loses. It loses. And it still had so much. So how much energy will it have if we could picture the energetic fields in Jeddah, Mecca or something, somewhere. But for this we, we need a new device. We, we, uh, the device we have in Munich is not to be carried, it's not portable, so we have to develop new machines, new div the, um, portable devices that we can take them, for instance, to Jeddah or to Mecca and so on. One of the most fascinating things you told me today was uh, uh, how you assessed the energy before uh, meditation or prayer and after. Yeah. meditation or prayer uh, I do know that uh, that uh, why the prayers are spread for us throughout the day five times a day with intervals uh, uh, that are no less than X amount of, of hours it means something because it keeps the energy level as you said high um, it's, it's quite amazing for me to, to hear from you that it is there the, the reason why, after you pray, you get certain energy around you, a hail of some sort yes. that, uh, that helps you go on and yes. continue and gives you yes. some inner peace. Yes. What is it about praying that, that you want to study more? If we would have the chance to picture the energetic field before and after praying, before and after going to make a hajj is called, I mm. think, you will learn so much more about what happens in your holy place. You will learn much more what happens in your inside body. Inside us. Inside us. See, a divine energy surrounds us 24 hours a day. It's our, it's, we have to open us to it, then it comes into us. We can measure, we can picture this before and after meditation, but we have to learn much more. We need better devices, more sophisticated, more studies, more sophisticated things. We can learn a lot. Well, I, we wish, you, I wish you all the luck in the world. Thanks. I mean, really, and, uh, and I hope that, uh, that many organizations support whatever you're doing. I mean, this is worth investing in because we need to know more and learn more. Now, as you rightly said when we were discussing this, um, if you're praying anywhere and distracted by sounds of uh, TV, kids playing, uh, many things that everyday life you know, exposes you to, it's different from being in Mecca or in 100%. Medina and being uh, totally you know, um, enveloped by the, the, the inner peace and, uh, and, and the, the sound of, uh, of, of prayer. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. it's, it's just a magnificent feeling that I cannot explain and I cannot put in words, but I'm sure if you study it, uh, things will come up. Maybe you can see it, yeah. I no, hope maybe. so. Maybe, I'm, I'm very sure you can see it. It's, it must be. Because as you said, if, if you are so focused in praying, are you so focused in opening your heart to a divine energy, something happens which is much greater than if you just pray in between. The Arabic people, they pray deeply. The Christians... Normally not. We, c we can even measure what happens after their praying the strength of and praying. after you're praying. Mm. Yeah? Stronger energy. Yeah. SubhanAllah.